guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review of the brand new Adidas Connects 2015 Women's World Cup official match ball in both the standard and winter colorway variations. Now, as you can see, this is the box that it comes in. Pretty standard Adidas match ball box. It has all the colors and graphics that match the ball itself. The name of the ball, of course, on the outside. But that's enough about that. We'll open it up and take a closer look at the ball. Now this is, like I mentioned, the official match ball for the upcoming 2015 World Cup, uh, for the Women's World Cup, sorry, that's going to be held in Canada, as you guys can see by the logo right there. So that is the official Women's World Cup logo. On the front of the ball, you are going to find your Adidas branding. Of course, it does have the name of the ball, the Connects 15 official match ball. Some of the online photos that I have seen actually have it labeled as the Brazuca 2. Those were early sample pictures and not actually what the final ball is named. Uh, it's just something that was sent to retailers early so they could have pictures ready for the actual launch but the ball is officially called connects 15 and regardless of which picture is displayed if you do purchase one of these this is the ball that you will receive of course it features a white base and that same figure eight graphic that we saw make its debut on the Euro 2016 qualifier ball. So you can see it does have that figure eight pattern, but instead of being red, black, and silver like it was on the Euro ball, on here you can see it combines red, blue, and green, which is actually part of the theme behind this particular color scheme. Uh, they wanted to go with uh, the Earth's elements. So the blue represents wind, the green represents earth, and the red represents fire, which I thought was a kind of a kind of a cool backstory behind the overall design. And overall, I think the graphics look pretty good. It's a lot of white on the ball, but it does have that little bit of color and it does have a very modern look, which I personally really like. Um, it does have your FIFA approved stamping, as you guys can see, because this is the official match ball. And I'll just give you guys a quick look at the valve as well. Um, it's actually not finished off too nicely on this ball, uh, but nice enough to definitely get the job done. Now that is it for the standard colorway. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the winter variation of the ball as well. You can see on the front, it does say Connects 15, and it actually says Winter Ball as well. It does have your Adidas branding, but you're gonna notice that this ball does not have the Women's World Cup logo, and that's because after the Women's World Cup, the Connects 15 will become the generic Adidas match ball. So similar to with in 2010, where we had the Jabalani for the actual World Cup, and then a year after we got the speed cell variation of the ball, which was the exact same ball just with a different colorway variant. Variant. That's what we're getting here with the Connects 15. So again, after the Women's World Cup, you will be able to buy this ball with the exact same colors minus the Women's World Cup graphics. So please keep that in mind. This is a ball that we're going to see for a little while now, not just throughout the summer. So uh, all the Adidas uh, national teams, when they're playing their exhibition games and stuff like that, they'll be using this exact ball minus the logo for their game. So uh, just keep that in mind and it's just something that I wanted to throw out there as an extra bit of information if you didn't already know. So the winter ball, just to get back to that really quickly, it does have a highlighter yellow base as opposed to white, which I think looks really good. Very, very vibrant in person. I'm not sure that's gonna come across all that well in the video, but in person, like I said, it's extremely bright. And then of course you have that same figure eight graphic. Instead of being red, blue, and green though, it is black, white, and like a silverish gray color, which I think looks really, really good it pops against that lime green background and again just a really really good looking ball overall and there's of course a quick look at the valve um, so that's pretty much it as far as the actual graphics are concerned let me know down below in the comments what you think of the overall design is it too simple is it too complex uh, just leave your opinions i'd be curious to hear what they are and next let's talk about the performance now of course these are the official match balls so they have a retail price of 160 dollars us which yes i realize that is very very expensive for a single soccer ball. You can buy a whole bag of balls in certain instances for that much money. So why would you buy a ball that is that expensive? And honestly, there's not really an answer to that question. To some people, it's totally worth it. To others, it's not worth it at all. And that's really what it's gonna be regardless of what I say. But really, if you're looking for the best of the best as far as performance, as well as durability, then the top end match balls are really what you want. Now these are of course the exact same balls that you'll see the professional players using on television. Um, this is the official match ball for a reason. Now it's kind of the cutting edge in terms of what Adidas has to offer right now. And for those that are familiar with their soccer balls, you probably immediately notice that this is just a variant of the Adidas Brazuca, which was the match ball for the 2014 World Cup, just this past summer held in Brazil. And that's exactly what this is. This is that same six panel design. So you can see you have these X-shaped panels all fused together, no stitching on the ball whatsoever, has that perfectly round shape and the very unique texturing here on the outside. As far as match balls go, the highlights of the 
Brazuca variant or the Connect 15 variant, I guess, in this particular situation, is that it has a really fast flight speed. It's one of the fastest flying balls of any of the top end match balls currently available on the market. It does have the ability to bobble and knuckle a little bit more frequently than all the other match balls that I've personally used, at least the current model ones. And also, it's very, very durable and a little bit more forgiving as far as touch is concerned. A lot of these top end match balls can feel very, very hard, especially to somebody who who's not used to using higher end balls like this but again it's a little bit more forgiving and for that reason a lot of people enjoy the brazooka and just how it feels how it flies through the air it's very easy to use and very easy to get used to uh, minimal break in time i would say so again if you're looking for the best of the best as far as performance the connects 15 is definitely a great ball especially if you like how it looks um, so that's pretty much it as far as what I have to say regarding the performance. It's not for everybody because it is so expensive, but if you are really looking for the best of the best and looking for a ball that's going to last a very, very long time, then the official match balls, especially from Adidas, are built to last, proven to last, and really are worth the money, in my opinion if it's worth it to you, of course. So that's pretty much it for my video, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave those down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. That would be greatly appreciated. If you're interested in either of these two soccer balls for yourself, check out the review page on my website. There'll be a link to that down below in the description. On that review page, you'll find the high quality images of these two balls that I took my uh, with pictures that I took myself that'll give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you can actually pick these up below their $160 retail price. So you can save yourself a little bit of money if you're interested in picking these up for yourself. Again, link down below in the description. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.